Welcome back to 80 Outdoors. Uh, it's October 12th and it's windy. It's a cold front came through. If you can't tell by my little pop-up line shaking like a leaf. Uh, it's been hard so far this bow season. We, I actually am hoping to get my first amount of film tonight. Gus and I have hunted twice and so far in between youth hunters and all kinds of stuff. I really haven't been out on any good days. Gus and I I haven't even seen a deer yet and he's not with me tonight we got a couple clips I can probably throw in here of some raccoons and squirrels and turkeys and all the things we've seen that aren't a whitetail but tonight I'm behind my house it's a Friday night uh, I got lucky enough to get Saturday off I've been working almost 50 hour weeks actually over 50 hour weeks and uh, but I was able to get Saturday off and there's a huge cold front starting to blow through now. It's uh, probably 40 degrees on October 12th, and tomorrow morning it'll be almost 20 degrees if you factor in the wind chill. So tonight I set out my decoy behind my house. She's behind me. Busted three does coming in. Don't really care. <laughs> We're just gonna give her a whirl. Uh, I haven't killed a deer behind my house since my first deer, and that was coming up on 10 years ago. So. If it's a white tail, it's got a chance to die. The freezer's looking pretty empty. I'd hate to kill a yearling, but if one comes into 20 yards, it might be game over. We're just gonna have to see. So, meets meat. We need it, and really just hoping to kind of see a deer. After working so hard, you know that's what everybody's, every bow hunter wants is to be able to just come out and enjoy nature so that's the plan of the night and uh yeah we're gonna get after her. let's hope we kill something Oh my god. <sighs> I just shut off the intro. It felt good. It felt really good. Oh my god. I cannot. Dude, I, I shut off the intro. She's young. It's like a two year old doe. I shut off the intro. Turned the camera around and she was standing right there. There was no more than five seconds difference. I gotta watch the film. I think I smoked her. It's a young doe, but older than a yearling for sure. I cannot believe that. She's looking at the decoy. She knew the blind wasn't right. I just set it up. Just brushed it in 30 minutes ago. She just kind of lollygagged in and <laughs> I sent one. So we're going to watch the video and see, see what happened. But man, that was a short little, 
little hut. <laughs> A five minute sit behind the house. I've been trying and trying for like the last three years to just kill a deer with my bow behind the house. Young little doe, two year old. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this. Time to go check her out. All right, here she is. I could not be more excited about this. This is definitely a Younger age class deer, she's not a yearling. Looks like a two year old, judging by her teeth. Maybe a three year old, maybe. Pretty small for a three year old, but. I couldn't be any happier with this deer. I've been trying, you know, very hard. I have my farms that I hunt where I, I manage big bucks and, you know, only try to shoot really upper class age deer, big does, big stuff. And then I've got my house and we own 17 acres and it's definitely in rural country area but there's a lot of houses dotted really close and it's it's hard to find a good place to hunt besides this one little clover field behind our house and the wind kind of sucks there it's hard to get in and out of there without spooking deer and tonight i decided to come home and i was gonna set my pop-up ground blind brush it in real quick set my decoy up because that's really about the only way I've ever had any luck because the field is so expansive that they don't just ever feed in one area repetitively so I set my decoy up and that usually helps the deer kind of come towards the decoy you know when they enter the field they see another deer and they're like okay it's safer down there but that wasn't so true in this case uh, I turned the intro off and I looked up and she was standing there at 32 yards is what I range findered her and she started coming in and I didn't even range find her again I knew she was under 20 and I put the 20 yard pin you know right where I thought it needed to go and the rage did its job a little high but that quartering toward she was quartering towards a little bit and that's usually a shot I wouldn't take but it was it was the way her front leg was positioned I knew I could just place that right there behind her and you know it just ripped through her and I got <laughs> a little bit of everything so she went all of 40 yards and was piled up just a big pool of blood right here and yeah she's gonna make some great back straps first deer kill with the new camera first kill with the rage chisel tips first kill behind my house so this deer you know even being a little younger is means a lot to me sorry gus couldn't be here <laughs> he's gonna be kicking himself he had a school event so can't help that got to do good in school but yeah I cannot be any happier with this she's gonna make some good back straps on the grill tonight so see y'all soon <laughs>